Hi Shoebox friends, this is Denise with D. Rogers. Welcome back to my channel. Today, uh, oh by the way, if you hear a little echo, it's because I got all new hardwood floors I'm very excited about, but it does create a little bit of an echo. And it's taken me out of my um, shoebox routine because all of my things are packed away. But I felt it was important today to um, share with you what has recently come up and about packing your boxes from your heart and with joy. When I share my boxes on YouTube, it's a passion of mine and it's joyful packing. I follow the OCC guidelines and um, I pack from my heart. I don't try to tell you where to shop, um, what you should pack, what you shouldn't pack, and I don't try to make you feel any less um, of a person for doing so. Um, that's not for me to do, that's for OCC. And if you follow a group or a, uh, a YouTube person that makes you feel bad about what you're packing or just doesn't encourage you in your packing, then by all means, don't follow them. Uh, on this channel, I've tried to be encouraging and positive. I think I've done a pretty good job of that. And I've heard back from many of you that say you get excited about packing after watching my videos. So that's really all that I did this for. You know. Um, doing this on YouTube is a lot of work. Uploading these videos, unpacking the boxes, packing them back up, and trying to find ways to just encourage you um, is a lot of work. So most of us on YouTube, not all of us, but most of us are very encouraging of each other and supportive of each other. It's very important in this environment. And we're all here for the same reason, right? We want children all around the world to hear the good news of Jesus Christ in a, a very positive and uplifting way. Um, so it's important to me that you know that um, recently I have heard that I did, well, I did an unboxing last week of a unicorn box and that this was discussed in a Facebook group and it's in a group that I'm not a part of. So I certainly don't have an opportunity to share my thoughts. And so that's why I'm doing it here on my YouTube channel. So I want to read to you um, a, an email directly from Operation Christmas Child. Um, you know, Operation Christmas Child knows this ministry so well. They have partnerships in the ministry all around the world. And if an item is a problem or an issue, they would let us know. And we have to trust OCC with this because they know this ministry the best. Sure, everybody has opinions about what they're comfortable or not comfortable sending, but I don't try to tell you what your opinion should be. Operation Christmas Child sent me an email and it says, these are great quality items to pack in your shoebox gift. Our policy does not, underline, discourage mermaids or unicorns in shoebox gifts. We always encourage you to pray over the gifts you are packing and we trust that God knows what goes into each shoebox gift and which children will be most blessed by its contents. So, you know, we don't really need to worry about restrictions or rules that aren't there or aren't created by OCC. Unicorns are not on the do not send list because they are not an issue. And did you know that online packing for Operation Christmas Child, they included unicorn bracelets this year. So I think if OCC is doing it, I think we're okay as well. Recently at an outreach in Trinidad and Tobago, a little girl had a desire, and that desire was to receive a purple unicorn. And these stories always amaze me, but that little girl, God sent that box to that little girl, and she got a purple unicorn. So you just never know how the contents of these boxes are going to affect a child. Another email that I got um, directly from Samaritan's Purse, it says, it is certainly important to distinguish the difference between what is our official policy and what is personal preference. Above all, we trust God knows what goes into each shoebox gift and which child will be most blessed by its contents. So it's okay to have a personal preference of what you would like to send or not send, um, but certainly there, the guidelines I follow are Operation Christmas Child guidelines and encourage you to look into if you have a problem with a certain item to do your research on it as well because I certainly have. So let's stay positive, let's be joyful, let's have fun with our packing, um, let's encourage each other and lift each other up 
and get these boxes to children all around the world to share the good news of Jesus Christ. One more thing I want to address is I do pack theme boxes. I love packing theme boxes. It brings me great joy and I pray that the right box goes to the right child. And Operation Christmas Child has been encouraging with theme boxes, sharing theme boxes on their social media, including some of mine. Um, I enjoy packing them. I seem to pack more creatively with them, but they're not required and a well-rounded box is all that is really needed. Um, if you don't choose to do a theme, that's perfectly fine. Again, I'm not telling you how you should or shouldn't pack. So I hope you continue to enjoy these videos. I've heard from many of you that say they are encouraging and positive and um, get you excited about packing shoe boxes. So I will continue to do that. Thank you so much for watching. And now I wanna share with you uh, an unboxing that I really enjoyed putting together. Okay, I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. I'm set up on this side of the table because on this side of the table, I have another box that I'm packing. So this one is for a little girl, age two to four. I have my label on it. And I have a little sticker that shows me that it's for, that it's a, a mermaid box. And it's in a Operation Christmas Child container that you can purchase directly from Samaritan's Purse. All right, so let's see what's inside when she opens her box. Um, this is what she'll see right on top, smiling up at her. And let's just take this out first. This is a cute little jellyfish. Um, I love it because it has these little ribbons, colorful ribbons attached to it. And I got this on clearance from Walmart after Valentine's Day. So really cute. She has a kaleidoscope with a little mermaid on it. These are from Amazon. She has a little mermaid tail purse. And inside I've tucked some jewelry in an organza bag. So she has this cute little necklace with a seashell on it and then a bracelet to match. And I got these, I think I got these from Big Lots. Next, she has another little jellyfish and he is like a fidget toy. His or her little legs go up and down. Isn't that cute? And these are currently right now in the Target bullseye section. In this little pouch that um, has little like fish scales on it, I've packed some other things. She has two pair of underwear, and these are size 4T. So we're just gonna tuck those right back inside. This is her wow gift. This is one of those little crybabies. She's so sweet, she has a little pacifier. Really cute, she's a little mermaid. Um, I think I got her on clearance from Walmart. But I love her, she's so pretty and bright and colorful. I think she'll love her. She has a poppet that is a fishtail. Uh, this was from Walmart on clearance. She has some crayons. And her coloring book is a mermaid tails coloring book that has some crayons with it and some really cute images, mermaids, and fish, and starfish, very cute. I think this was from Dollar Tree a while ago. She has a wrist bell for a little bit of music, and this is her pencil pack. Her pencil pack has some under the sea stickers, tucked inside with some mermaid stickers and then a colorful click pen with all different colors and some beautiful colorful pencils a fat ticonderoga pencil for little hands and i taped up the bottom so the point would not um, stick on anything or damage her pencil case and a little a cushy grip and this idea to tape up the bottom with washi tape, I think came from Val from V. Swain's Shoebox Sundays. 
So that's her school supply kit. Next, she has a little book. It's called Molly's Journey. This is from the Dollar Tree. This book has been around. I love this book. I've packed it before. It's very simple, really cute pictures. And there's the jellyfish. So I think she'll like that. And then her outfit is a cute little shirt that I got on clearance from Walmart a while ago that says, I wake up mermazing. And this is a size 5T Granimals. And to go with her shirt, she has a little pair of jeggings to match. For her writing, she has a junior legal size pad from Target. This is the Up and Up brand. And then we have a little, another little mermaid pouch where the scales are just nice tactile for her. And the scales go up and down. This was from Dollar Tree. And inside, she has a set of matching cards. So these matching cards are currently at the Dollar Tree and there's a set of, I think, three to the set. I took the um, Under the Sea set and I laminated all the cards so that these will stay nice for her. And it comes with a little, um, I don't know what you call it, I guess like a mat, a play mat, where she can put the cards down on top. So that's a really good deal if you can find that at Dollar Tree. Like I said, it comes with three different sets of matching cards and three little play mats. So we're gonna just tuck that right back into her little pouch. So she has somewhere nice to keep it. This is her hygiene kit. She has a little mermaid toothbrush, a comb, lip balm, nail files, nail clippers, some mermaid Band-Aids from the Dollar Tree, a mending kit, and a washcloth. And then on the bottom, she has a mix and match um, stick and play activity set. This was also at Dollar Tree, um, I think last year. And then she has a little dress up mermaid. This is also from the Dollar Tree where they can dress up the doll, the mermaid in different clothes. And that's the mermaid in the back. And it has like a kind of like a little story with activities. So these are really cute if you can find them at Dollar Tree. And on the very bottom, we have our family note and letter. Don't forget those. And some stickers. She has some mermaid stickers. Those were from Big Lots. And then she has two of these mermaid, um, you know, you just dress the mermaid up. You stick them on there. So really, really cute. So that's my box for a girl aged two to four with a mermaid theme. I pray that this box gets to the right little girl and that it brings her joy. Thanks so much for watching. God bless you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.